Welcome back to Book Talks. Um, my name is Whitney and I'm excited that it's my turn again to talk to you guys about some fun books. Today I actually only have one and probably no surprise, it is a graphic novel. Um, and this one is actually from DC. So we're going to be talking about a new superhero they have. Um, I'm really excited about it. I finished it like a few days ago. It's so good. Um, and yeah, so let's just kind of jump right into it. It's called Primer. I know the cover is amazing it is a female character um, and it's by Jennifer Murrow and Thomas Krasowski and the art was done by Gretel Lusky and the art is beautiful it's amazing oh my gosh so um, I love it when they make new superheroes um, this is from DC and their graphic novel kids collection um, so this one is going to be a series, this is the very first one, uh, the first installment, and this follows Ashley. Um, Ashley is a pretty good-hearted kid, but she's had a difficult past. Her father um, is kind of what you would consider a villain in the superhero world. Um, he um, has a sordid past and he's actually in prison right now, so Ashley is actually in foster care, the foster care system, and she's at like a group home right now, at least in the book when we're reading it in the beginning. She's in a group home, and so she's struggling with dealing with like her dad's like bad reputation, not knowing much about her mom, that kind of situation, um, and she can't seem to find the right foster family. So that's how we start meeting Ashley. Um, that is until Ashley meets... So that is until she meets Yuka and Kitch, who are first-time foster um, parents, and they're excited to try with Ashley for the very first time. Um, and Ashley is 12, about to turn 13, so taking in a teenager is kind of a big deal for them. But um, Ashley and Kitch bond right away because Kitch is a big artist and kind of a troublemaker too, so I think that's kind of what um, drove them to be able to be foster parents and stuff like that. And Yuka, she's a little bit more serious, but she... Um, she's a scientist, she's a geneticist that currently works for the military, and she does like top secret stuff, so, and that'll tie in later for some of the superhero stuff. Um, but basically, um, Ashley is working on a very top secret project that she's worried is going to be harmful if it falls into the wrong person's hands. So she takes, uh, they're called body paints is what they're calling them, I'm sure there's a technical term later we'll learn. But she takes these body paints that are supposed to give you superhero powers home. Um, she's doing it because she wants to hide them and dispose of them later. Um, Ashley, being super curious, a little bit of a troublemaker, gets into them um, with one of her friends, Luke, from school that she meets. And she and Luke were like, oh, maybe it's, you know, for your birthday because your birthday's coming up. And they said they'd get her something. Um, well, you know, Ashley gets into them and she starts rubbing some of them on her, realizing they're body paints. And then she gets superhero powers. Depending on which paint and what paint color, you get different powers. If you put on the green paint, you start to float. If you put on the red paint, you get like fire powers and stuff like that. So Ashley and Luke start discovering all of this. And so Ashley starts to become her own little superhero, but in secret. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff that kind of happens in the book, so I don't want to spoil it because it really is good. And it'll be, um, it might ruin the storyline later, so I'm not going to get into it too, too much. Um... But yeah, that's Primer, and it's super awesome and exciting, and I love when there's a new superhero, especially one that you can kind of relate to a little bit. Being a girl, I can kind of relate to Ashley a little bit, and maybe you can relate to Ashley's like past life a little bit too, being in foster care and stuff, and um, you know some of the difficulty there. So I think she's a very relatable character, and I think once they come out with more like books, I'm going to be hooked and can't wait for, I honestly can't wait for the next one now. Um, but definitely give it a check out here. This is for school age kiddos and probably teens. I would have read, I read it now and I'm an adult, but I would have read this as a teen as well. So um, definitely school age to up, upper to adults. But yeah, you guys should definitely um, go to our website, mld.org, and place a hold on it so you can get a hold of it too. Uh, it's not very thick, so it was a super fast read as well. So thanks for joining me for this book talk, and I hope to see you guys next time.